guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So the Scammies snubbed Nicki Minaj and she doesn't have any nominations in the rap category after dominating the whole year. Am I shocked? No, because if you guys watched my reading I did for the Scammies and Nicki Minaj, I said that they were going to play in her face. Now, you guys can go check out that reading. It's on this page. I will, you know, put the link in um, a pinned comment. But honestly, I'm not really shocked. And this is why I said Nicki Minaj should have went to the EMAs and forget the scammies. Okay, because she went on live twice talking about how they were doing her dirty. And because she publicly spoke out, they are punishing her. That's all this is about. They are upset that she basically put them on blast, okay? But I tried to warn you. I said there would be a very slim chance that she would win, okay? And that they were going to use her for views. I literally said that in my reading. You guys can check that out. And I just feel like Nicki Minaj, from now on, she just needs to boycott the scammies. Okay, there's literally no point in going if they're going to constantly do you dirty. And you know she wants one secretly because she openly talked about how they were putting her songs in the wrong category. But now they completely took her out of all the categories because she spoke out. So Nicki Minaj just needs to go where she's celebrated and not tolerated. Moving on to um, Lizzo. Um, she was nominated for... Best Pop Vocal Album and Best Pop. Congratulations to Lizzo. I mean, um, About Damn Time was a big song for 2022. So it's well-deserved. I low-key feel like Beyonce was kind of snubbed. Um, yeah, she got two nominations in the dance categories, but I also feel like she should have been in the pop categories too. But maybe she just did not want to. I remember an article coming out saying that she wanted to be in the dance category. Um, but I also feel like she wasn't going to be able to go up against Adele or Harry Styles, and she knew that, okay? So maybe it was best for her not to be in the pop category, but I do feel like she deserved a nomination in the pop category. Doja Cat gets nominated for Best Pop Duo um, with Post Malone, and then she also was nominated for Best Pop for women, and then Best Rap Vegas. It's so funny, they didn't want to nominate Do We Have a Problem, but they nominated Vegas. You see the bullshit that they was doing? See, this is why I just said, Nicki Minaj, go to the inmates and ignore the scammies. But no, she was giving them too much clout. Now, Vegas, I do feel like it deserves to be in the Best Rap category, but I also feel like if you were going to nominate Vegas, you should have nominated um, Nicki Minaj, Do We Have a Problem? I mean, come on. Do We Have a Problem was the bigger record. It debuted at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. It's just the fact that they were playing in Nicki's face the whole time and then they punished her. I just can't really get over it. But I'm honestly not shocked because if you guys watch my reading, like I said before, I saw this coming. Lotto is in the melodic rap category um, for low energy. And then she also previews this corny song on Instagram. Let's take a listen. What is this? She cannot sing. She needs to go back to the drawing board and get some more auto-tune. This sounds terrible. And it's so funny. She was like, oh, I scrapped this song. But now I'm regretting it. Um, No. You definitely made the right decision. Um, Don't let the TikTok hype fool you because you've been putting out singles um, since Big Energy, and they've all been flopping, okay? So you made the right decision. I don't think Lottery Ticket really has it, but, you know, she's light-skinned, so she has the look. 
but the bars are not there. And she keep talking about her coochie. Like she don't got no other topics. It's always about her coochie or, you know, having sex with somebody 21 average, um, who she can't really claim publicly because he's married. Um, but it just looks sad. You know, I really feel bad for her because that snippet was so trash and the people were gassing her, but they don't buy her music. Mm -mm -mm. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. Um, some fans feel like Megan was snubbed, um, felt like plan B should have been nominated. Um, I can see why people thought that Plan B should have been nominated. I don't think the Trauma Z album should have been nominated, but the Plan B song, you know, I can see why people thought that. And then she's also having issues with 1501. She said that they are stopping her music from being played at the AMAs and she has filed a restraining order against them. And this is not the first restraining order she has filed against 1501. Now, my whole thing with Megan is this, right? You know, I can understand both sides. I understand why she wants to get away from 1501, but because she has openly trashed them multiple times, they are going to continue to play with her. You know, like... When she mentions 1501, she's always throwing shade. Um, she's always tweeting about Carl and basically saying that he owes her money. So I can understand why um, 1501 is playing with her. And I think that if she just makes another album, she can just get out of her contract. There's no point in fighting Carl because he is not going to play fair. Now, Gorilla Glue was nominated for Best Rap Um for her song FNF, um, which was a big song this year, but I feel like originally she wasn't supposed to be nominated and they basically took Nicki Minaj out of those categories and put Gorilla. That's what it's giving. Okay. No shade. Not saying that it's not well-deserved, but she was not in any of the predictions originally. And now she's got one nomination. So they swapped out Nikki because they felt like she was running her mouth too much for um, Gorilla Glue. Um, so let me know how you guys feel about that. Moving on to Chloe. So Chloe allegedly will star in a movie called Midas Touch um, based on a true story, uh, which follows the youngest equity trader on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange only the second African-American woman to hold this position. So it looks like she will be playing um, basically in a biopic. And I think that because, you know, Walmart Yance is flopping musically, no shade, but she is flopping musically. Um, she's going to be getting into acting and other things, which makes sense uh, because she started off as an actress. Now, I seen Chloe act in Grownish. Um, I kind of feel like she was playing herself. I mean, I'm not really into that show, but I don't mind her getting into acting. Maybe she'll have more success in acting than she will in music because clearly y'all don't really support her. But anyway, um, uh, make sure you guys check out my Patreon, um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.